Hi everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop. Here with LED lenses sort of premium in the P7R range. It's the P7R Signature. Now it's a really, really nice light. It's got a maximum of 2000 lumens output. Um, tons of features on it. Just before I get into that, I'll show you what you get in your package because you get a lot of different things. First of all, you get your sort of LED lenser card, or authenticity card. You get your safety manual. You get your user manual, so that's a really good read actually. There's so many different features on this torch um, and customizable features as well. So you can pretty much customize every part of this. So definitely start using it, figure out what you want, and then you can go back here and fully customize it to have it exactly the way you want it. So really, really good user manual. LED lenser user manuals are actually fantastic. They're so easy to follow, um, have big pictures which I like. Um, you get your sort of seven year warranty with all the new LED lenser gear. I've upped that warranty from five, which is awesome. Uh, you get a little sticker as well. Biggest thing to sort of set this one apart from the other sort of P7Rs is your mounting system for charging. So you don't have to use it at all, but it's really nice to see because a lot of um, sort of torch brands and things like that don't have a mounting system for their torches. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's nice to see that LED Lens have actually sent you one with this, incorporated it with the P7 signature range, P7R signature range. Um, yeah, so it's, it could be a bit of a game changer for you if, um, if that's sort of something you're after. Also, the charging port is like reset in there, so it's all super clean. Just clicks on and go, and yeah, no drama at all. You also get your lanyard, uh, pretty, pretty common stuff. Um, they give you a wall charger, which is awesome for their proprietary sort of magnetic charging port, um, charging system. So, I mean, yeah, a lot of, um, a lot of things just come with the USB port. So if you're searching for um, a wall charger as well, uh, this is a great option. Again, with these USB um, USB chargers for all the LED, new LED lenser gear, uh, they've just got the same charging system across all their all their torches, all their headlamps. So it makes it super easy to get a couple of different ones, have chargers wherever. Um, you don't have to worry about sort of unplugging it and forgetting it. You can kind of just have it wherever, which is which is really nice. It's running off a 21700 lithium battery, 4800 milliamps. So it's kind of the new sort of battery technology, I suppose uh, a lot of the torch companies are starting to use. Um, it's just a bit bigger than sort of your older 18650s and it's packed full of power. So you can fit a lot more juice in just a little bit bigger size. Uh, it doesn't increase your overall torch size too much, which is um, really nice for these sort of mid-size tactical lights. Um, so yeah, great that they've sort of updated their battery technology as everything else is updated. Another great feature and probably um, one of the rare ones I've seen, you get a leather holster for your torch. Um, not many uh, companies have got the leather holsters, uh, so it's really nice to see. It's actually a really cool looking holster too. Um, sort of thick leather, it's got a magnetic sort of belt um, clasp there. So yeah, I mean, like you'd expect with lead lenser stuff, they've sort of thought about everything. And um, yeah, once this sort of softens up a little bit, you're gonna get heaps of use out of that and it's gonna be really, really comfortable to put in there. But anyway, get all that with it. Diving into the torch now. Like I said, maximum of 2000 lumens. Looks a little bit different to uh, a lot of uh, all the other P7Rs. It's sort of um, got a different color to it heaps more different features as well so you definitely as you sort of get up in these different price ranges or updated models um, you don't just get more outputs you do get loads more features as well um, still got their sort of focusing system here which is great i mean a lot of companies aren't haven't sort of stuck with it at all they've just gone to open reflectors um, which are awesome don't get me wrong i do love open reflectors but if you're after something different or you you use LED lenser in the past and you sort of want to continue using it because of that focusing system, which a lot of people do. Yeah, they've kept that, which is great. And it's like, works perfectly. There's barely any like over spill or anything like that. It just either spreads a lot really nice and evenly or focuses it in really tightly. So yeah, good to LED lenser for sort of keeping that up and sort of being able to put bigger chips in there in smaller torches and still having a really good focusing system. Now, getting straight into the torch, 
I'll just give you a few run rundowns on rundowns on outputs just off like your default mode because there's so many different customized options. Um, obviously, you can't run through them all, but out of uh, so your default mode, you're going to get on high um, or power mode, 1200 lumens for about two hours run time. That's going to give you about 200 meters sort of distance. Uh, they're actually quite quite good on their distances. Um, some lights sort of will go well over the top. These guys sort of know what they're after. You're going to get good visible light out at 150 meters or so, and then it will push out sort of that little bit further as well. To get it on boost mode though, it's just a quick double tap of the power button. Get it right up to boost mode of your 2000 lumens for about 10 seconds, and then it'll sort of drop back down to sort of whatever mode you had it on. A lot of lenser torches sort of work like that. Uh, they don't offer that max for as long as it can. Um, which isn't a bad way to do it. I mean, you're not really going to walk around on that boost mode all the time. So it is a good option that it only goes there for 10 seconds, see what you need, and then it drops back down. Uh, medium mode, you're looking at about 500 lumens for about three and a half hours. Uh, and their run times are pretty, from previous lights I've used from LED lenses, they're pretty bang on. So yeah, definitely good run times on the lower modes. And then low power, 15 lumens, which is pretty much sort of visible uh, if it's pitch black, it actually throws a little way when you've got it zoomed out. I was zoomed in tight, um, but you're going to get about 90 hours of run time with that. So loads of run time, and yeah, you kind of be able to see sort of everything in your sort of immediate future or yeah, just sort of um, a map or sort of anything right at your feet. From there, it's pretty much your normal features of your P7R with up to outputs. What sets this one apart though is this little sort of toggle switch here. So, little mode selector there. I've obviously got it set when it's right in line with the switch there. It's set on your light mode. So, there's your high, your medium, and your low, and then you double click for your turbo, and then one click back down to get your sort of whatever previous mode you're on. And it sort of does have a memory function too. So, when you click it on, uh, it will sort of hold that memory function as well. But this little toggle has got so many different functions there, which is great because there's no double clicking of the button or cycling through to try and get to all these different modes. It's just sort of a slide across uh, either way and to get to your certain functions. So if you went to the left of the button, you get this really cool little red light on here. So that's going to be great uh, if you're sort of wanting to read something or light up a little sort of section and not blind everyone or not cause any alarm, I suppose. Yeah, which is fantastic. So you can just get that to come straight on with the button, straight off. Really, I mean, it's not crazy bright or anything, but if you were after something late at night or anything like that, you don't really have to search around. You can have your eyes closed and figure out, you know, you're on the red. It's as far as it can go left. Um, which is only that one click. One click to the right though, it's going to give you a strobe and then one click again has it on sort of a solid beam. And then again, another click to the right should give you sort of your SOS. And then one click off. So. No cycling through any buttons. Um, you can just use that little sort of toggle switch there. Um, and it's sort of pronounced enough that you can feel it with your thumb and you can do it quite quickly, but I don't think it sticks out at all and the actual profile of the torch is quite nice. So, I mean, you get your pocket clip as well. So something I sort of missed out on when I was uh, talking about the torch, uh, which is great. I mean, because you've got the holster there, you sort of got two options uh, and three options with the lanyard. So. I mean, tons of different carrier options uh, with the P7R signature. So many different customizable options, which is great. It's waterproof to IPX 6.8 standard. Uh, so, I mean, you're gonna have no dramas. Uh, if you're sort of wanting a torch that's pretty, uh, pretty much a general purpose torch, I'd probably put it in. Uh, it does have everything from your spot to flood. Um, probably, yeah, it sticks out with one of the best camping sort of uh, four-wheel drive or just having your car sort of torches it's uh yeah lead lens have made a great product here um so we've got everything you need but let us know what you think i love it i'll drop a link in the description below so go grab yourself one or have a look at the entire lead lens range they've got some really cool product products there from their new and 
older sort of legacy items. Hit that subscribe button, that like button really helps us out. We do have new content coming out every week, so make sure you keep up to date with that. Um, but thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch you on the next one.